I can look at this piece. Chris thinks that's a Bridge City-esque stand right there. I have to kind of agree. So, see the face frame type piece is four-way book matched. With cool looking door. The screws but the actual clocked. size, pardon me? The screws are not clocked here. No, they didn't clock them. Yeah. Unless the guy was trying to tell a different time than Chris is trying to detect on it. <laughs> but then the actual substrate is all plywood, just stacked up. It's got an interesting shape. I gotta get close in order to get any light on it. Oh, you, you were okay. And this is how it gets light on the inside. Just some old glass reinforced with chicken wire. They didn't clock these ones either, so Chris would be disappointed in this piece now. <laughs> Subpar. Yeah, exactly. So while it's an interesting picture, what we're looking at is the nice rounded corners on these. You can see that they tip in just on the middle, uh, middle part of the miner. It's like they reduce it down. These are pieces from the Blacker House. Cloudless are there. Those cloudless are right there. Very fine white dots.
Yeah, but it's not flat work, so you'd be okay with it. You could do this faster than, say, a castle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta give you crap. <laughs> I like the top, I don't know what that is. It almost looks like just an old colored stained leather. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say leather. It's got some interesting marketry. Shifting on this more orna ornamentation on that. Well, it's like that. Yeah. Oh, shoot, I never thought of that. I could have tried looking for it. Really nice bird's eye maple and then some nice tiger maple up on the top. Am I in your picture? I didn't mean to get in there. Looks like it folds open. Show sure does. It's got a leaf on this side here. So these aren't inlay, that's actually metal. I see how it folds, but I don't see how it's supported when it's open. I don't know which direction it folds. I have a feeling I'm. Uh, whoops. I have a feeling I'm assuming uh, the wrong direction for fold. It would fold this way here. That's what I think. Well, I guess the top two layers yeah, could keep it. <laughs> I keep angling it because of this thing. I don't think they clocked the screws on this. <laughs> and you can see the metal hinge. Those aren't screws, by the way. <laughs> There's a metal hinge back there that'll open it up, fold it back, and then I wonder how it stays balanced or if it does. I think that I the think top, the top will, will scoot. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll, it'll turn like a chip, like what do they call it? A uh, I can't remember the name. I like the white pins down here. On the legs. PVC. Damn it! I keep aiming around. I thought it was right in the middle of the screen. Probably PVC. <laughs> This mostly has a nice finial in the middle. I almost wonder if the top lifts is a tray because it's got a tray edge. I don't think it would lift. Yeah, I don't think so either, but it almost looks like they could have made it that way. Well, I like this. You notice the little casters underneath the legs too, which kind of make the table appear to float. True, true. But the finial is what caught my eye initially. I liked it. So yeah, there's the art display here, but take a look, these are just the kind of randomly cut MDF to make it look like a flowing figure, which of course means it stinks in here. And there's one, and there's, I don't know, there's some Asian guy that's doing some traditional dance there for a moment. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know what they put in between them, too. It looks like they just spaced them. It would actually look kind of cool if you put some lighting in there. So, yeah, again, woodworkers at a museum, it's like, oh yeah, there's some art there, but look at the way this uh, stand is. God, yeah. This is CNC art for, for good. Oh yeah, you can even see they've got a sacrificial board they reused up top. Look, it's a CNC sacrificial board up there. You got all this, and this looks very impressive the way they put this together. Especially when you see that all the stands in them are also made this way. Somebody had a good idea. This floor alone must weigh like 10,000 pounds with all this MDF. Look. Artist unknown. That's the... It's your panel. Mm -hmm. It's on the other side too. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, better concealed. 17th century. Wood and metal plaques. Interesting. Oh yeah, you can just make them out. There's a whole series of dovetails all along here. Some of the metal plates cover it. And yet the bottom is just wrapped it in. Oh, that might make sense for uh, hmm. 
I don't know, motion? No. For bearing weight, though. Could be. Maybe he just got lazy, you know. Hey, nobody's gonna see this. <laughs> I didn't know we were allowed to film in here. Stationary box with pheasant design, 1780. But the uh, Paloina wood with lacquer and various inlays, including pottery, mother of pearl, horn, pewter, and stag antler. Take a look at some of that. to see this. Bottom of the box has like a uh, silhouette of birds flying. It looks like a metal inside. But what I like is this effect there. And then you've got the uh, fiddler ferns, fiddleback ferns. The motif repeated across it all. So this would be a box for ink. Got room for the pens, the brushes actually. Room for the ink. And a small jar for the ink. It's actually meant to be stored upright. So these would be placed in a bookcase. So we're seeing it open here. This is the top, which is what they're trying to present. You could actually do whole. Calligraphy box with design of autumn flowers and grasses under sun and moon. Lacquer over wood. Gold and silver leaf, flakes and powder, silver hemispheres, mother of pearl inlay. All sorts of street lamps, all sorts of times from home. Which has a really nice uh, leaf edge. Don't know what they use to glue it in. We're allowed to film, right? Hmm? We're allowed to film, right? Hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs>